hi guys welcome back now if you've ever thought about taking a trip to portland then watch this video till the end because i will be talking about all the free and affordable waterfalls in portland which falls i'll be talking about i'll be talking about the free ones i'll be talking about the affordable ones i'll be talking about the commercialized ones so the two commercialized ones that i'll be talking about is rich falls right and somerset falls and then you have some free ones like fish Dunn falls there is um Seston falls there is also cascade there is non such falls there is um spanish river balcares like there's just so many beautiful falls up there in portland there's nanny falls i'm pretty sure that's you know a lot of people know about that one and the history behind it as well portland. all right but before i get there can we just take a minute and just appreciate my makeup and my face all right look at the brows look at the show when i say show i mean eyeshadow right now this was done by my beautiful sister follow her on ig at st beauty box and if you're thinking of getting your makeup done for whatever event or anything at all for your birthday coming up a wedding whatever the case might be just follow her send her a dm she's very affordable right now moving right into it so portland portland is just one of jamaica's most beautiful parishes right it really is it has so many hidden gems right and they're they're all just so beautiful i don't even know where to start but let's go with the commercialized ones right now some of these reach falls pretty sure everybody knows reach falls reach falls is a very common falls in portland it's up in manchineal portland um it was recently i don't know i said recently but it was developed by udc before it was free and it could go and you know i'm not really one for having everything get commercialized but the renovations that they made were really nice you know it's easy access you can drive up there's parking there they have bathroom you can change and you have lifeguards on duty and you know stuff like that so it's really nice cost for locals it's 500 dollars for adults and 250 dollars for children and then for tourists it's 10 dollars for adults and five dollars for children so i find it to be very affordable i went there two years ago i went there with some friends on my birthday um we got, a, we got there a little bit late it was closer to closing time which i don't mind i don't mind going these places closer to closing time because you know then there will be less people around and you can have a place for yourself so big big property if it is that you don't want to stay at the main falls which where a lot of people stay you want to walk and hike go further up and you can fall, find other smaller pools then you can do that as well so when i was there there was this one guy who was just like i was just like oh you guys come in and you know them tell me say oh you're close because we were already there we we're allowed to stay i'm saying you know man we just walk through the air up there's someone you know because so they're locals apparently before it was commercialized you know it was free and everything so there is a, actually some path that you can just walk through that part and you go up there you end up on the property for free now that was two years ago do maybe the people them realize this and put up a fence i don't know but then again i don't know where the path is either but if you want to go there and find that path hey go for it so reach fast if it's not on your bucket list guys if you've never been there then definitely go and check it out right while i'm on Manchini, right now a new hot place that everybody's craving for everybody's going to is this area right here in Manchineal with the open pools of water. So it kind of looks like a queen's bath. Now if you're looking to go to that place, here's a contact right here for a guy that can bring you there. You know, of course, just give him a little tip, give him a little something and thing. And if you're going, you have to bring hiking stuff. It's it's a it's a little journey, you know. But back to the waterfalls that i'm talking right since i did one that was commercialized let me talk about another free one right fish Dunn falls or some people call it what silver hill right oh, fish Dunn falls i went there three years ago wow i can't believe it's been that long and absolutely beautiful now initially when i went i thought the name was spring hill that's what i was going off of recently everybody started calling it fish done or maybe that was the name but when i went there they told me it was spring hill but apparently spring is a whole different river altogether so fish down falls are silver hill right now it's free it's free 
and or but you know sometimes you go to these places and they get popular there might be some people there asking you to pay or whatever but i don't think it would be that much right and it's also a part of the hollywell biking trail so when I, when i went with my friends they, there were there were a lot of tourists that came down their bike down and they stopped by swam and then they went back up so it's it has the main the main part right which is this right here and it also has an if you walk up along if you do a little climb along the edge of the falls go all the way up and around to the back there's another secluded private area one thing that stood out to me at that falls was the fact that the rocks were red right I mean beneath the water obviously there has to be some minerals in the water but the rocks were red I've, when i said i mean like bauxite looking red i've never been anywhere else and seen red rocks like that it was just so 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 beautiful right so that's fish down falls and if you just put it in your google maps if you just put in fish down falls in your google maps it'll pop up so you don't even need a lot of directions to get there you just type in fish down falls in google maps it pops up you follow it and you're there boom and it's easy access in that there's not much hiking you know you just type in it you're there and once you drive up you can see the falls right off the side of the road you park a car along the side now guys listen park when you park your car on the side of the road just make sure you park good you know turn in your side mirror all of them look at something they catch up nice turn on the alarm on the car and all of them look at things there right so fish down falls put it on your list guys definitely go and check that one out it's you guys probably go tired of hearing me say but yeah, that it's beautiful but it's just it's just really and truly is right going back to commercialized slash affordable somerset falls now i'm actually quite ashamed to say that i've never been to somerset falls i can't believe it and it's it's just every time a trip is made to go there it's like i don't know i always end up in a something else like in high school my friends did a trip there i never get for go my family did a trip there one time and never get for go uh, I don't know, but you know, it's on my list. Anytime I go back to Portland, I'm definitely going to Somerset Falls. And the good thing with Somerset Falls as well, you can't miss it. You can't miss it. It's very central. It's right off of the road. Um, you know, we feel with highway them, not no name with the road them. So if I A4 or B1, one of them something that name, it right off of that. You're coming up at Hope Bay in Portland, right along A4, Hope Bay, there's a big sign this way to Somerset Falls. Somerset Falls price varies in the weekdays and the weekend. Um, I think on the weekends they have more things open, like the pool or whatever the case might be. So that's why the price varies. I think it's six fifty, six fifty in the weekdays and nine fifty on the weekends. So, and I've seen a video circulating recently on IG where people is that they're on a local boat and they're rowing the boat go all the way up into the falls. I don't even remember where I saw that, but that was that was just beautiful. Like it's <laughs> need a new adjective, don't. But Somerset Falls, definitely check that out. Now, all right, cool. Another falls, Seston Falls. This is a free falls, right? It's up in Ginger House, Portland. Um, you can see the falls right off of the side of the road. Um, it's. If you go and you, you're just like, oh, I don't know where this is, you can ask people, where, how do I get the swinging bridge? Because right after you cross that swinging bridge and you make a right you go around, the falls is there, right? It is also, guys, you can check out my video of when I went to Portland with that. <laughs> you can see it for yourself. But another nice falls, it's more, uh, it's not really for swimming. It's not really for swimming. It's not really um there's not much of a height to get there either it's like a five minutes walk off of the road it's 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 more of a picturesque thing it's you know you go there you take some nice pictures and you know but it's a, it's a nice one to go to too yeah you know a lot of people love to just go to these places and take pictures so it's a nice a nice fall to just stop by and and take pictures and they have a little a small pool area you can sit down right there and just enjoy it um when I went there, I went there with touring 876 and they tend to stop there and then they go on their White River Trail. All right, guys. So next I'm going to talk about is um, Nonsuch Falls. Nonsuch Falls is a very big, big, beautiful falls. I've never been. It's on my list to go. And you can find it by just putting in Nonsuch Falls in the Google Maps and it pops up. Now, the thing with Nonsuch, right, when you go there, 
and this is why i haven't been right because you have to go there a little bit after the rainy period so that when you go there there's a, fa a false is there i've had a friend he went there did the hike did all of that and it's like when he went there it was dry and we don't want that right we don't want to go through all of that all of that long journey to go up there and then you know it dry up so we don't want that right so Make sure I said beforehand you kind of do your research. Again, you know why you go with it too, too heavy with rainfall and, and, and it go wash away. No? I mean, I said, no, 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 if you go wash away. No? You get what I mean? I said, all right. Guys, 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 subscribe, like, share this video with your friends. If there's a friend out there, I try to convince them to go Portland with them. Send them this video. Send them this video so they can see all of the nice beautiful places so them can plan the trip and everything and i want to plan on the trip and i go on a place and i'll take a picture and I'll tag me night on ig tag me on the story and all them look at something there comment below tell me which one of the tell me which one of the falls i'm gonna go go and all them right, so next is nanny falls so, nanny falls it's in moretown portland <sighs> i went to nanny falls with a group of friends um oh it's five years ago oh my god that's crazy that's crazy i can't believe it's been that long but yeah five years ago and let me tell you to go there there's a hike just know it's a hike it's a nice little 10 15 minutes walk and while you're doing this hike and you're going up there there's multiple small pools of water that you see it's just it's just so nice up there like you're completely immersed in nature like all you hear along the hike is the sound of the water like you're hiking you're walking and you know you know for a fact that you know the waterfall is so close you know and i've never seen nanny falls beforehand i never had any pictures of what it looked like so to see that falls after all of that hike and it's like you don't really know what you're you're going to meet or whatever it was just it was every it was just amazing man i'm gonna tell you this is it you see when we reach close to the falls them the stairs over them in the abbey it's literally like this is like this steep is like it's like it's like you know one slip and that's it now again this was five years ago so and i've actually seen a recent video where 876 vloggers check them out guys or follow portland 876 i'm pretty sure everybody know that page but they did a video on their youtube channel and i was just looking at it and i was looking at the stairs and the stairs them um, them look like them spend some time on it because trust me they, them, them, they, them the stairs they didn't need a whole heap of fixing like they have hand railings on the stairs now and all of that so <laughs> so that's good but nanny falls is just the it's a nice drop you know it just and the rocks the rocks are just like the 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 you just have this nice carving that come out and then the waterfall come over it and it's just enclosed it's just nothing but trees nothing but nature and the sun and the falls it's check it out for yourself guys trust me you you won't regret it as the name suggests it was believed that um nanny along with the other maroons they would go up there in preparation for battle for whatever war and they would cut themselves and you know go in the water and because the water had healing properties and person who healed quickly they were fit they were fit and they were ready for war you know and second to that i'm not sure if a lot of you guys know but kudja falls or mountain river cave falls which is up in saint kendra now kudja was nanny's quote-unquote brother he kind of led the other side of the maroons and they have a falls up there and have a cave up there which is pretty much very historic and have all of the same history on it now if you if you don't know where i'm talking about that's the video right up there check it out or just search for it on my youtube channel as well it's in the list of videos regret it. now to get to nanny falls some time ago they had closed right and they weren't doing tours up there because a lot of people were going up there too much or something to that effect but i think they start up again um so book a tour probably tour in 876 or even the portland 876 I mean, book a tour with them and they'll sort it out and you can head up there. Head up. All right. Two other falls or rivers that I've never been to that I want to go to, Balcaris. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Again, I've never been. As well as Spanish River. I think Spanish River is in Chepstow. Again, forgive me if I'm pronouncing it wrong. These rivers. Uh, now, if you want to go to these rivers, just link Portland 876. Again, they offer tours for you guys to go up there, right? Cool. Next, Cascade. Cascade Falls, a hundred foot drop falls. It is quite beautiful. So to get here, you can drive like you're going to Hollywell, right? You go to Hollywell. After you go to Hollywell, when you, once you pass that sign, 
you drive for like a 20 minutes and then you're gonna see a green and white fence now you're gonna park along the green and white fence and then you're going to do a roughly 10 minute hike and you'll find it um the part sometimes it bush up sometimes it don't bush up you know if there are people around there you can ask them you know they but an easier way an easier easier way to ensure you're not lost adventures from ellie she does beautiful blogs on how to get to some of these places um the link is going to be in the description below so adventures from ellie she's been there she clear she lays it out beautifully on how to get there so guys just if you're thinking about going to cascade just click that link go over to her blog read it read up on all you need to know about that place before you head there all right so that's cascade put that one on your list as well oh funny enough cascade as well as fish down falls and there's a different one named silver hill as well as balcaris they're all kind of in the same vicinity because like i said when i went to fish down there was some tourists there that they, they hiked down from sorry they bike they were biking they bike down from hollywell and you know they stopped there you know it was a it was a the the falls was along there bike trail so up in milkbank portland there's at least nine falls the tour in 876 offer you you can go all the way up to all nine of them right if you want to test listen to me if you want to test your endurance level if you want to test your fitness level if you want if you're all about hiking and you know doing all of that stuff go to white river falls trail because i'm telling you i'm telling you man it was a like I said, they have up to nine falls. When we went, I went with two close friends of mine. Um, it was raining. It was raining. And so we only got to go to one falls because we wanted to come back before the river come down on us. And trust me, <laughs> the river come down probably the same way. You like, you wouldn't even believe that. Like, like the river, the river come down the same way. Guys, check out that video. Um, <laughs> it's on my, I titled it the day I almost drowned, but anyways i was being dramatic but i'm pretty sure my ancestors are tired of watching over me <laughs> they're probably working overtime but white river falls you know listen to get to falls one and trust me falls one is so nice it's beautiful right it's it's and you see the thing with these falls like the, these free ones these one we have to do hike for and all of that stuff you won't go around there and find a lot of people so you know you, you get that you're just one with nature, you know? You know, you escape the reality of life, you know, dash with the phone, dash with this, and you know, you just, you sit and enjoy nature. Falls. So to get to that falls, yeah? 30 minutes to one hour, depending on if it We did it in 30 minutes, right? My friend Katie, Katie was determined to reach there. Katie of the Maroons, she was determined to reach there. But on average, roughly 45 minutes. Now, the good thing with this trail is after you reach falls one, to get to falls two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, it's it's relatively quicker, you know. It's it's not that much of a hike again. Like it's not like another one hour hike from here to there. And tour eight seven six. Follow them on IG. Hit them up if you're interested in going at that trail. If you want to go falls one to three or four to six or seven to nine, if you're doing it alone, I think it's seven thousand dollar. That's how tour eight seven six does it and if you're doing it in groups of five or more it's five thousand dollars right and i mean considering the height that you have to go on yes. and like they really and truly help to like carve out a path for you to go there you know because the the the, the i mean it's bush it's bush uh, long and short of it is bush right so for them to build a path and make big steps and all of them something there so i would not recommend you going there if like there was just recent heavy rainfall and you know it's still raining and whatever don't be like me don't be like me <laughs> if you want to know what i'm talking about watch the video i titled it the day i almost drowned why river falls that's all i'm giving you right now for all those falls in portland i'm sure there are many 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 more that um is just waiting to be discovered or you know is out there and you know maybe i just don't know about them you know another place like that that's untouched and has so many beaches is saint mary so guys look out for that i'm going to be doing another video just telling you guys about some nice hidden gems in saint mary man here where is this kid?
Yeah. There's, you know? Oh, wow. My truck won't pass and I did a video. <coughs> wow. Oh, I'm sorry. Woo! Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure.